today I got you guys uh, are taking the first look at the Fortini. Um, now this is a F432 kilohertz uh, board from uh, Furious FPV. Um, as you can see, this thing is fairly small. It still has the same footprint. It's just you have a lot better access to um, the actual components. So as you can see, this one does come pre-installed with the uh, uh, grommets for uh, vibrations. Um, keep pretty much uh, to keep the FC as clean as possible. You won't have to be running as many filters or uh, PID so high since uh, this will be cleaning out most of the junk. Um, this actually does have, uh, it's a 32 kilohertz uh, 20602 gyro I believe. Um, this board does have five UART ports, so plenty for S plus S ports. If you're going to be hooking up OSDs, whatever it may be, um, you can actually use it as well for like uh, the TBS, the smart audio for the VTX or the immersion uh, tramp uh, RC. Um, then it also does have a uh, 16 megabytes uh, flash for uh, like black box data, um, for data breakdown, whatever you're going to use it. Um, the soft mounts are actually pretty soft. They feel um, a little bit like, uh, I want to say, like Ninja Flex. They're pretty rubbery, so they should do very, very well. And they are covering the board completely, so it's not, you don't have anything exposed like screws that would be hitting. Um, on the back, you got that uh, QC sticker. Um, as you can see though, this one does have, uh, or actually does support up to uh, 6S, where I believe the Combini only does up to uh, 5S. Um, and does have uh, inrush protection too, so if there's any, uh, if there's like spikes in voltage, uh, you'll have uh, something to protect it from it burning your, uh, the actual uh, FC or damaging anything else if it goes up like the uh, BEC for your video transmitter or whatever it may be. Um, the BEC on this is actually the 5 volt is a 2 amp um, and it like I said it will take from 2 to 6s so the higher end racers that run like 6 inch props for trying to beat the world record for speed or whatever um, it does have uh, inverter for S bus um, and for the smart port so you can do it via CLI if you wanted to go ahead and do it a lot of boards you wind up having to do it via CLI and change it um, this one you pretty much plug and play um, a big change too between this one and the Combini is this one actually has its own separate uh, power supply just for the gyro um, and then it has its own uh, LDO for uh, low noise and all that to kick out all the extra uh, noise um, and it's a lot more accurate than uh, a lot of the uh, F3 FCs uh, uh, out now and keep in mind this is an F4 so you're, you're not going to have to turn off uh, accelerometer if you don't want to um, you can still run a, pretty much everything without having it uh, kicking back memory or slowing down your board and causing issues um, this one actually does have a selectable uh, BEC for the receiver so you can hit it at a uh, 3.3 volts or 5 volts um, these being D-Shot capable you don't have to reroute PWM signal anywhere um, it's just pad to pad um, and then it has for of course uh, S bus all the uh, TX pins and everything um, very excited to try this one out. I'm going to wind up picking up some RCX high KV motors uh, to run this and actually see how clean it flies uh, just stock. So that'll be the next video on this one. Um, stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. And as I said, that's the 14 f 4 by Furious FPV. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. <laughs>